The first CSS exercise is about customizing colors. So when you're talking about colors, you know you have to customize CSS and therefore your style.css file. Now, let's give for granted that my logo is based on the red color. Um, usually when a designer first takes uh, a brand new WooCommerce website and goes to customize also tries to make the colors consistent. Okay, so if the logo is red, then you also want some other elements to take the same shade of red. For example, the add to car buttons, the other buttons, the footer background and some other elements. So how do we harmonize or make a website uh, consistent in regard to colors if this logo is red. Now, what I want to do first is actually to simulate the color of my logo so I can show you live how um, we can then work on the rest. Now, what I'm, I've done, I right clicked on my site name and I'm trying to look for the CSS call that gives it a color. Um, here it is. The very first one gives it a color of dark gray. So what I want to do is I just go here and give it color or red. So remember we're simulating. So um, if I refresh the page, this is going away. So let's say that my logo is red. Now I want to customize the breadcrumb homepage icon. I want to customize um, the add to cart buttons. I want to customize the pagination buttons and I want to customize the footer uh, background, which is the easiest one to do. So let's start with the footer. I right click on the gray background of the footer and click on inspect. I'm now looking for some call that gives me the gray background but as you can see if I hover onto the element I just inspected it doesn't give me the whole footer so I have to go one step uh, up and maybe the footer color is this one it's probably not because you can see gray above and below. So I keep going up until I find the whole parent element, which as you can see has a background color. Okay. So what I want to do here is just simulate that the background color becomes red. And of course you also want to make sure that the color becomes, for example, white and you probably need to customize link colors as well now this is a simulation so what i do is i take this customization i go to my ftp i right click on the style.css edit open my style and what i say is footer as a comment so that I remember that in the area I'm customizing everything about the footer and paste my customization. I save, I go back to the FTP and send the file back to the server. Now I go back to the live site and do a refresh just to double check that the logo color is going away of course because it was a simulation but the footer stays because now it's in my style.css. Let's move on further and let's try to customize the um, add to cart buttons as well. So once again, right click and make sure we're on the correct um, element and let's go and find the uh, call that gives it a background color and a color. Once again, I want to enter here red small letters and I want to give it a color of white. 
Okay, so as you can see, uh, they're finally uh, customized uh, in my simulation. So I copy this part and I go to my style.css and open it again. This time I want to call my CSS section WooCommerce and paste my um, new CSS. Once again, I'm going to um, save. There's a typo here. Um, save and go back to my FileZilla and upload the file back to the server. Now, go back to products, refresh, and I should be able to see my red buttons and my red footer, which makes uh, an amazing website. Uh, very good looking. Now, next thing, the pagination button. So I'm just going to right click on the one and hover onto it and find out what gives the number a background. If I'm not sure and that this is the right element, you can just simulate it. So you just click on the square and move it around. So as you can see, it is the right um, button. So this is the call. I'm just gonna give it a background color of red and a color of white. Now, you can see that only the first one changes, not the other ones as well. Why? Because I'm, uh, I've inspected the element of the current page number only, okay? So not only I have to customize this one, but I will have to customize the buttons that are not current for now. I'm just going to copy this call and go back to my style.css and paste the pagination call. I save and if I really want to see the results on the front end, I upload the file back to the server, wait until the transfer is finished and then refresh. So you see now, the first pagination button is red, add to cart buttons are uh, red, as well as the footer. Finally, uh, we can even match uh, this little home icon if you want to, and maybe the storefront uh, cart icon. You can apply this to any um, theme as long as you're very good at inspecting the element. Now, what I do, I position the mouse over the house. I right click and try to look at where this um, icon is coming from. So having inspected element of this, it opens the whole href of the home page. So you see, if I hover onto it here in the HTML window, the whole um, element on the front end is highlighted. So I'm not uh, going deep enough yet. So I can expand this element and find the home and as well something called the before. This is a called a pseudo element in CSS, which means that you can target something that is before or after a certain CSS tag and just uh, make it behave like a HTML element. So the before, if I hover onto it, it correctly, correctly highlights the little icon. So I'm clicking on the before element and trying to find out what CSS is assigned to it. It'll give me the CSS call and then the CSS styles. Let's see if there is a color somewhere. Well, there is not. Okay, so because there is not a color, it means that this inherits the color of its parent HTML tag, which is the A tag. The A tag, as you can see, has a color of 727272 but I want to give a color only to my icon so I go back to the before and this time I don't change it this time I create it 
So I just give it a color of red. As you can see, this is now changed and I can copy this old CSS, but you have to be careful and I'll show you next once I go back to my style.css uh, file and paste the code. I'm only interested in color red, so I'm going to delete these declarations and just leave what I uh, want. I save this file and if I really want to see the results on the live website, I upload the file back and do a nice uh, refresh. Now I should see my red icon in here and the same exact way that we wanted it. Now I want to customize even this one as a test. I right click on it, I inspect element, I find out that the A is way too much than what I need. I just want to target the cart icon. So I go and search for children of this HTML element. There is the price amount, there is the zero item count, and then there is the after. So once again, this after is an element that is basically called inside this A element and might have its own color or not. You see, there is no color call for these site header cart cart contents after. So once again, I need to create it and just say color red. Simulation is successful. I take this part and go back to my style.css and remove all this. Now, I just want to show you one last uh, work, which you can see these two CSS calls are the same. I mean, they give the same style to the color. Okay, so you can even merge them. So this one and this one become actually comma. This one and I can delete this old call. So I'm assigning the color red to both the breadcrumb homepage icon and the cart uh, header uh, icon. I save. I upload the file back and finally after a refresh I now have my consistently colored uh, red uh, WooCommerce website.